insight. I thought that dorming was one of the best um, experiences I think I got out of college. Um, I was in Pentland and it. I think the biggest success uh, was because it was in a suite type of um, layout. It allowed us to have our own um, privacy, but also allowed us to have a really good sense of community when we needed it, when we looked for it. and. Um, I found my greatest friends there. I was in the science type of um, like housing. So everyone there was like science related, like either biology, chemistry, environmental science. There was one stat major who somehow made it in there. I don't know how, but we, we all became really good friends. And I think, I think it was really a savior for the academic and personal like anxiety and kind of nervousness. So whenever we had any concerns about, you know, what we're going to do for school, we had each other to rely on. And whether it was um, anything personal, like the friends that we made there soon became our family. So they were like, we had each other's back. And I think that was one of the best things ever. What I missed the most, I think, was the spontaneity of it all. Every day, every night was so random. It was crazy. I think I still like kind of have these flashbacks of like us doing like the most randomest things, like running around in the dark or just going together in the morning to get um, some breakfast and just talking and just having each other. I had a uh, triple suite, so I had three people in one room. I was in the bottom layout and um, the two other roommates that I had, they were in the loft. So it was pretty cool. I had a little bit more uh, privacy, I guess, um, because I was in the bottom. Hi, my name is Alexia. I am a second year computer engineering major and during my first year, I was living on campus. So for me, I lived in Penland Hills. I was in a triple. So I had two other roommates and I happened to sleep actually in the top bunk, top part. I call it upstairs. It just it made it easier for me. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I lived with two other roommates and I was in a suite full of girls. So that's how Penland works. When you go live in a suite, you usually typically live in a suite with people in, of the same gender as you of which you identify, and I was in a suite full of girls. It was three other rooms. There was another triple, and then there was two doubles. So there was an, ended up being 10 girls in the suite. We shared two bathrooms and two showers. I really liked Pentland Hills just because I moved in from a household of seven people. So I really liked having, I guess, a little bit more of my own space, even if I shared it with two other people. It was, it was still my own space in a sense. And I personally love not having to share my bathroom with too many people. So, and since we were able to split it off, I really only shared my bathroom with like four other people, which was really nice compared to like Lobian or <laughs> AI, where you have to share with like everybody in your hall. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, what I also really liked about Penland Hills is that the community space is not that far away. So like literally going out of my dorm and getting out of my suite, um, since I was living in the third floor, it made it easier. Right there was a the community space. And I almost every single day was out there with my friends and it helped a lot just to not, because I know the stereotype of Penland Hills is that, oh, nobody's sociable, nobody gets out of their suite. like. It's very quiet. It really depends on who you're hanging out with because my building <laughs> per se was not quiet at all, especially during our quiet hours. Yeah, we have quiet hours, but mm, yeah, it depends on each building. But um, my building, uh, we ended up forming a pretty good bond with some of the people there. So a lot of the people we were hanging out with, we were always out in the common area. And um, it's a nice space. It's a really nice space. You get a TV, couches and tables. Um, you know, for what you're paying, you get a pretty good experience. The only thing though is you can't really control the AC, it's like only like one or two degrees up. But besides that, it was completely fine. I just stacked on blankets or I didn't wear blankets, like a lot of like 
<laughs> stuff that made me warm. But um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't trade anything for it. I would love to live in Pendant Hills again. I mean, if I were to repeat my first year, not necessarily now because I like the apartment better. <laughs> but um, I, I really did enjoy my time there, the, the six months I had at Pendant. And I really miss a lot of the people that I hang out with every day. Now again, I'm living back on campus. Um, I just moved in a couple weeks ago. So having a little of the transition from home to apartment has been a little crazy, but I'm enjoying every aspect of being back on campus. I am specifically living in Glenmore. Glenmore specifically, I really like the space. Um, within the few weeks I've been here, it's been great. Um, Definitely an upgrade from the dorms, I could say that. <laughs> I now have my personal bed and room. So the background here is my own room. Nobody else lives in this room. It is purely for me, which is, I think is really amazing because now I can finally have my own space. I don't really have to share with anybody else. And it is kind of like in the dorm sense where it's like one unit, but then once you go out, it's like the actual apartment. So my roommate has a room right next to me. And then there's two other rooms because I live in a four bedroom, uh, two bathroom apartment. But because of COVID, it's only the two of us. And I only pay the amount I would pay if I were with four, like three other roommates. So this is really nice. But yeah, um, I really enjoy it. I actually get my own bathroom since there's only two of us. So I use the other bathroom on the other side. And that comes with a shower and the, the sink and the toilet of course but it's purely my own i have all my space like all my stuff there for toiletries um feminine care skincare all that it's over there <laughs> so instead of like in the dorms where i had to put because you kind of have to share the bathrooms you can't really put your all your toiletries and all that stuff in the bathroom you have to be it has to be in the room so i really like that and i can separate that it doesn't have to be in my room i also have my own closet here because it's New Glenmore, we get the wardrobe-ish closet. But if you live in Old Glenmore, yeah, there's two different buildings. <laughs> there's New Glenmore and there's Old Glenmore. Um, Old Glenmore was built like around like mid 2000s, and New Glenmore was around like 2010-ish, I want to say. But the Old Glenmore has built-in closets. I don't remember the building numbers that are Old Glenmore, but if you want a built-in closet instead of a wardrobe. You should look out for that. <laughs> um, within New Glenmore, we also have more movable furniture. So I'll show you right here. So this is my bed. And then here underneath, you can see that there's drawers. These drawers are movable. So I can like take it out of the bed and then move it around as much as I want to. These can also be taken out to be its own separate drawer outside of the bed. I decided to keep them there. Also, my desk is movable, so I can move anywhere I want to. And I have a movable drawer set, so it can be underneath my desk or it can be on the side of my desk, which I really like about New Glenmore is that all this furniture is very movable and can be up to your taste. So you don't have to necessarily stay in the furniture setting that it was already in when you come here. You also get a living room, so that's your common area for the people in your apartment. So maybe common area for the four people, however many people are in your apartment. Um, there's also a study room within each hall, like hall being like the floor. So if you do want to go to the study room, you don't have to look too far because it's actually here within each floor. And there is elevators that all function. So that's really great. <laughs> and it does feel like an actual apartment complex just for students. So that's really nice that um, a lot of us here are students and you know, there's not a lot of other like different types of um, population here. Some other features about Glenmore that I really like is that it has um, a good kitchen. I really like the kitchen um, set here. In every dorm, you get a little mini fridge. Well, in the apartment, you get a big fridge for everybody. So that's really nice. Because Glenmore is really close on campus, I also get to have a dining plan and I'm still on the same dining plan from last year. So I get about 150 meal swipes and um, I don't remember the price point for the do dining dollars, but I get a good amount. 
So I'm living off the same dining plan that I was last year, but if you prefer to cook more and don't really want to be in the dining hall too often, there is different dining plans that offer you more dining dollars than meal swipes. So the dining dollars being you can spend at Glamour Market and there you can buy your groceries and all that. But if you do live in Glamour, you do have to have a dining plan that is the only downside, you could say, if you don't really want to be living off the dining plan. The other apartments, because they're a little bit more off campus, being like not that close to the dining halls, you, you're not required to have a dining plan. But it's only Glenmore because Glenmore is right next to Penland, actually. Um, if you look into the map, the, the Penland RSO is in this like weird like U circle. And in that U circle, that's where Glenmore is. So it's also like on the other aspect, Lothian's right here, Glenmore's right there. So it's in within like that whole like residential area. So we do our, we are required to have a dining plan, but I find that really helpful because if I don't want to necessarily make food, I can go to the dining hall and um, get some food, so. I've been living at the University Village Towers, which is an off-campus apartment. It's fully student applicants. There's, if you're not a student, you can't live there. So basically you'll have UCR students and community college students living there only and because it's students they can more easily assign you roommates if you don't have a designated roommate so they'll just have you fill out an application and they'll assign you based on like what's your major what's your interests and etc I never dormed so I, I don't know what it's like dorming but I do know what it's like going to school in person and having to walk to school from an apartment uh, the UVT is actually really close to school. It's like a couple blocks away. And it usually takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to walk to school and get to class. I'd say there's a lot of pros about living off campus. One, because it's a lot cheaper, because you don't have to pay for like meal plans and dorm fees. Uh, you have your own schedule basically, and it'll cause you to like, become more independent and uh, practice like time management skills because um, on top of needing to do all of your schoolwork, you need to do all your chores, wash the dishes, uh, go do laundry, go work out and everything. And as well as plan in advance all of your stuff before you go to school because when you go to school, everything in your backpack is all that you have for that day. So. Um, it kind of gets you to become more independent, but the only downside that I can see to not, uh, to living in an apartment off campus is that you have kind of like a distance between the school and yourself, your personal life. That could be something good if you prefer, uh, studying by yourself and stuff, but for resource wise, you're a bit distanced from like being with other people. It's a lot less uh, available to you because you'll have to go home every day and um, basically do all of your things that you need to do and prep for the next day instead of just staying at school and everything's available to you. It does force you to be more time manageable uh, when it comes to like studying on your own time and then having to like then cook and then clean, you know, whatever you have to do. And what's great about uh, living at UV Towers is that, like, I lived on the dorms. I lived in Pentlands, UCR, and I know this. Uh, what I know this very briefly is that um, it's a lot more quieter here. Uh, so, and there's like the walls here. Um, if I live like right now, uh, there's like no sound right now. Like, I don't hear anyone uh, at Even all. Even though we live next to a freeway, we kind of don't hear it. Yeah, exactly. So. And uh, so like, it's great to study here. Um, so you don't have to like, let's say go to the library at night or in the morning. So you, so you have a place to like study by yourself, you know? And it's um, it's great. And one thing I noticed that, um, at least for me, uh, like there's a lot of social activities on the dorms, but over here, there's also like, there's also another like other ways to like be more social with like your peers and stuff like that. Uh, UV Towers does have some events that you can go to and meet other people. So like, let's say you want to meet, like make new friends or something like that. You guys can just like go over there 
uh, go on the website and see like what's on. Another perk I like about UV Towers is that um, it's also very, how do I say, like you get basically pretty much like a bang for a buck. It's basically, uh, it's, it's cheaper compared to the dorm life because dorm life you don't have as much room to live in. Um, like I literally lived in like a three roommate uh, dorm room and then like it cost like I think at least a thousand. And that was a cheaper option. And then at UV Towers, it's like, let's say like nine hundred dollars for like two. I think, like nine fifty, nine sixty to live in a double, and we get our own rooms and our own bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's like, it's and like it's great because like I have like plenty of room to walk around, and like at my dorms, it's like literally like two beds on the sides. It is very tiny, so if you're someone who wants more privacy um and like i guess like more places to walk around stuff like that then i recommend uv towers and um financial aid wise it shouldn't impact it too much because the financial ucr financial aid office will give you money in the form of a check to pay off the rent and stuff like that